Hey there guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. It's Chetan here from Double Cube and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be learning to create an amazing wallpaper. It's gonna look really sick and dope. Um, for the practice, you know, when I was making it, I kind of wanted a cool logo, so I made the, I used the logo which I made for Steven Van, um, I think uh, a couple of months back, and it turned out pretty great. Um, I also tweeted it out on Twitter, so if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, Make sure you follow me. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment section down below. And another thing is I also am on Instagram now, so you guys can go to the link in the description and follow me on Instagram as well. It will mean the world to me. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, um, so this is what we're going to be creating. So, uh, you know, this is a logo. If I just zoom a couple a little bit more. Uh, you see we have this nice background and a grid and you know these these cool stuff and we're gonna make it look amazing All right, so let's go by go to file and click on new and I'm gonna go and choose the width to be uh, 1080 by 1920 now this will again depend on your phone size But for most of the phones, uh, you know like the iPhones or the OnePlus phones it uh, you know hits up It looks well, uh, you know with these dimensions But if you guys want to actually see what your phone's dimension is you can just log into Google and just type on Whatever your phone and uh, home screen lock screen dimensions and she walk all right I click on ok and I want to get this So the first thing is I'm gonna actually gonna keep turning back to get this as a reference uh, you know so we can do it almost exactly same so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just double click on the background and uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on a layer style color overlay and uh, we're gonna go choose a color now I'm actually gonna pick the same color so this is the color that I want so I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna go and choose color overlay and uh, select this color see that okay so now I went to Google and got a transparent background image which is basically this so if, I, if you see it's just a grid with a transparent background and a red color line so I'm gonna rotate this like so and just scale it up pretty high so it covers the entire thing all right that's looking good and uh, now if you see I have the opacity reduced up pretty much I'm actually going to increase the size of this because I want a little bit bigger squares. All right, uh, that should look better. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this down to 60%, and we'll zoom in, and that should look pretty good. Now you can put in your own logo or whatever text is, but I'm just going to go ahead and put the text. I'm going to press T, and I'm going to type in 2017, and uh, I'm going to go set this to white for now. Um, and uh, we can go ahead and choose a cool font. I'm not quite sure what font is going to work. We can choose Gotham and uh, we can just put on italics and uh, that's, that's, that's good. We can press Ctrl T and we can scale this dude pretty high. Okay, not so high. Maybe a little bit down. All right, and then we can go and center this up pretty much like so and uh, maybe reduce the size down a little bit. Whatever suits better. All right, so now we can go ahead and start off making uh, you know these cuts over here. So um, the first thing you want to do is we're going to go ahead and grab these, you know, get these lines done, which you guys can kind of see over here. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to get one line from here and away and probably one from there to down. So I'm just going to go and uh, get the, this, the line tool and make sure that your width is pretty small. So I've set it to five. I want to zoom in out. And then I'm going to go and just come over here, click right out there and I'm gonna go ahead and just you know make a line like so yeah all right okay so we see this one is coming from the top but but that's okay we can do the oops sorry about that uh, I'm gonna go grab these colors so we want this color first okay so I'm gonna double click on the shape layer I'm gonna go to color overlay actually let's not do that we, we don't need to do that we can just click over here and click here on the fill and we can choose this color and uh, press press control enter sorry yeah all right so we have something that looks like this and we can copy paste that by pressing control j and we are going to now change it to this color right uh, so just move this down like so uh, probably on the o not quite sure where we can do that but Probably this looks, I don't know, a little bit much better, I'm not quite sure. Um, 
So you want to make sure that it kind of goes above the letters because we're going to cut it off pretty close. I'll show you what I mean. Alright. Okay, uh, so next we are going to go and create this stroke kind of thing. But before we do that, we're going to go select both of these, click rasterize layers. And then you want to go and click on the thumbnail, which is going to select the text. So you want to hold on control and click on the text tool, the thumbnail over here. And that's going to create the selection. And you want to hit control, shift and I, which is going to inverse the selection. And then with both of these layers selected, which actually one of these, press E on your keyboard to get the eraser tool. And shrink it down and you just want to go ahead and rub off these parts so select like this layer and rub off these parts okay we want a hard brush so let's choose a hard brush and uh, let's just get rid of these press ctrl d to deselect and now you can see it's you know kind of touching the uh, you know the uh the exactly on the edge uh, i don't know if that made sense but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and create a stroke so let's add a stroke over here and uh, so the color you want to use for the stroke is probably the same color as the background because it's going to give you that nice effect of you know being cut uh, we can go ahead and increase the the size so maybe to three four uh five four i don't know let's see i've set it to four now uh, yeah i think four looks good so let's right click choose copy layer style and come down to shape and choose paste layer style and uh, that's already looking great isn't it Alright, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and press E on your keyboard and then go and choose a soft brush this time. Make it pretty big. So I'm using the bracket keys, the square bracket keys. And I just, just want to go ahead and just fade this in pretty, you know, less like so. Just fade it in beautifully. So like this one and just just slowly click and give it a nice fade. I mean, I mean it, it already looks crazy. It looks so good. Maybe you can go ahead and increase the stroke. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably set this to a like six and do the same thing over here. Click on the stroke and make it to six. Click okay. Uh, that's looking good. Now we wanna add, add the colors to this. So these colors, so how do we do that? Pretty simple. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna rasterize your text. So right click, choose rasterize type. So now you can't edit the text anymore. So make sure that you have your font and the text and logo selected before you make any changes. All right, so the next thing to do is press P on the keyboard, uh, get the pen tool, and with the layer selected, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut out each part. So I'm just going to click on the pen tool over here and just create a path like so. All right. Great. And then you can hit Control, Enter. You want to press Control C and just click Control V, and that's going to create a new layer. But unfortunately, it doesn't create exactly over there. So, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what to do. So, Control C, let's grab a new layer, plus Control F. Nah, Control, let's try Control X. Control X and Control, I don't know, Control V. Ah, uh, that's even more blurred. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this three times. So, I'm gonna hide the first one. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just create another selection. Right? Press Ctrl Enter and hit Delete. So that's going to delete this part. Uh, then we're going to come over here and with this layer selected, we want only the center part. So let's cut out the rest of the parts. So we can select all this, hit Delete, then just click over, come over here. Ctrl Enter, hit Delete. Alright, so we have the center part. The only thing we need is the last part. So let's do that pretty quick. Alright, let's go. Delete, delete. Oh, sorry. We're gonna click on this and delete. Oh, I think we deleted this by mistake. I'm quite sure. Yeah. All right. So now we have three separate layers. So that's one. This is two, and that is three. And all we need to do is go ahead and add in a color overlay. So we're gonna go to color overlay, and we're gonna select probably the the, the same color as the purple one. So uh, let me just bring this down over here. Whoops. Color overlay. Yep. Click on OK. And uh, let's do the same thing over here. Color overlay. Uh, no, we don't want to add any color to the center one. We want it to be only on the, f the last one. So we are going to color overlay. Click on OK. 
and we can remove the layer style and uh, yeah that is looking good so now we're gonna go ahead and add these simple particles and stuff um, the first thing I want to do is I want to add these brush particles which you see over here so it's pretty simple let me just show you how to do that so on top of everything actually not on top on the bottom of everything uh, create a new layer so create a new layer right over here I mean on top of the grid as well and below all the text and the shapes is go to our window and choose brush and that's going to give us the setting so make sure you're on the brush tool and uh, here we're going to go and uh, click on the hard brush over here and you're going to go and increase the spacing like so increase the spring pretty much you're going to reduce the size down to fairly low so i would say probably six pixels and click on shape dynamics and uh, the size jitter set it to 800 the minimum diameter we can ring it down angle jitter we can i don't know roundness roundness you want to keep it after zero I click on scattering and on scattering we want to set the count to i don't know probably two i'm not quite sure and uh, oops, scatter to 800 both axes okay i don't know counter jitter uh, let's keep the counter jitter down smoothing we don't want any smoothing uh, texture dual brush i think that's pretty much it to go and then make sure that your your foreground color is set to white and all you want to do is just go ahead and just start drawing over on this you know whatever you think looks good i'm just going and tracing over the letters sorry the numbers over here in this case yeah like so and you know just go ahead and just add in stuff like here and there dots and you know whatever you think looks cool and crazy all right um so once we have that if it is not exactly white in color you can go and click on this choose color overlay set this thing to a pure white and i don't know i don't know if it makes any difference okay it doesn't make any difference so let's do a color overlay yeah so that we can keep it like that and the next thing is we have these circles and these plus signs so let's go and grab a shape tool let's actually go create a elliptical marquee tool then let's go on top of everything Create a new layer on top of everything and hold down shift control hold on shift and control i mean shift and alt and just create a new circle like so fill it up with any color you want uh so you can press alt delete or control delete and that's going to add in your foreground and background color respectively control d to deselect uh then you want to resize press control t to scale it and just shrink it down pretty low let's actually duplicate that then press control t Shrink it down pretty low and then you want to click control click on the first one then select the second layer and hit delete and what that is going to do is it's going to give us this this simple circle and then we can go ahead and pick any color we want so let's go and choose a dark green and a shadow sorry color overlay let's go and set it to a nice green color no sorry uh, copy layer style paste layer style you can go ahead and delete this thing and all we want to do is press ctrl j to duplicate and just go ahead and start place, placing these things wherever you want wherever it is ctrl j couple of points here and there looking good so the next thing is we, we have this plus sign so that's going to be fairly simple as well so let's do that really quick so we can select all of these layers which we don't want i mean all the circles we can then how many we're gonna right click and choose merge layers and that's gonna make it into a single layer let's make a new layer all we gotta do is uh grab the rectangle tool let's actually grab the rectangular marquee tool let's go ahead and create a create a pretty big rectangle for now um fill that up with any color then press ctrl j to uh, duplicate hold down shift and rotate it and transform select these two merge them and we can go ahead and add in our colors now so let's go to color overlay let's choose a yellow color deep blue yellow color uh, and then we can select this one this part hit delete and that's going to knock off the center part all you got to do is then scale it down pretty much and that's it guys so we can press ctrl j to duplicate just go drag and drop them everywhere Wherever you think you can, I'm just doing it for the sake of this tutorial. I mean, you guys can spend a couple of you know minutes or hours, I don't know, on making this. 
and then once we have that we can select all of these again uh, what is this okay I'm gonna name this now it's gonna be circles we can select all these layers press ctrl E to merge them we can call this uh, let's see yellow uh, yellow plus and now let's press ctrl J to duplicate it uh, we can select only one now so we can select only this and uh, you want to control C control V and uh, that's gonna give us a separate one you can change the color of this so okay what colors did I use in the original one okay we use red and blue okay, let's do a blue now uh, let's try go to color overlay let's choose a blue color Click on okay and again just go start placing we can actually reduce the size of this yeah Control J just go and start chucking them everywhere you can there's no specific rule that you guys have to follow to make this yeah all right uh, so then we can select all of this let's go select all of this and press Ctrl E to merge them and you know call this blue plus and the final thing which you can do is plus Ctrl J and we're gonna call this red plus let's go ahead and quickly change the, co the colors so let's go to color overlay and let's choose a dark kind of a color not dark light red color and then you can press ctrl T right click and choose flip vertical and that's gonna this is gonna give it a random position altogether already you just have to fit the find the perfect position so it doesn't intersect with any of these and I think this looks pretty good and if we zoom back, we're gonna have something that looks like this and uh, this is already pretty looking cool for a wallpaper. The last thing we can do to finish off is just add a new text, say Happy New Year. Uh, let's go ahead and center this in the center. Probably not so much. Alright, and uh, we can select part of this, click on this, click on the color, choose this color. Uh, then we can select this one, this one, and this one, and yeah, that's looking great. That's looking already cool. I literally love it. Looks amazing. And uh, done. So uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'm always con free on Twitter. Uh, I always reply to all the messages and notifications. So if you guys want to get in touch with me, feel free to do so. Um, so that's pretty much it guys and I'll see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye bye